This looks like it's been run over. It's and, a statement. And what I statement? It, I didn't say it was a good one. <laughs> I, would see, I would say they should have spent a bit more time on it. And... It's not the greatest shirt, but the sponsor is unbelievable, isn't it? Come on. Oh, you like this one? I like this. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is kit review time, which means Shaylee is here. Um, honestly, I find it a bit annoying, actually. I get lots of requests each summer, not just for this video, but for your appearance in this video. So oh, thank you. Say hello to your adoring public. And Shaylee's gonna help me rank the 23-24 championship home shirts. We are gonna go through, we're gonna pick our top three, but we're also gonna pick out our kit crime. Okay. I think you all know what that means. Our statement shirt, the one that maybe isn't the best, but blew your mind. Uh, our manufacturing marble, we're gonna look at the best manufacturer our super sponsor who's got the best sponsor. Do you remember your top three from last season without looking at my notes, which has gotten written down? I only down remember there. my top my top one, which was Luton. Your top one, Luton Town. So last year you went for West Brom, yeah. third, QPR okay. second, Luton. There will be no Luton because they got promoted. So you had okay. Luton first and their Orange Town. But I went for Wigan, third. There will be no Wigan. Right. They got really good. So it's good. We're going to get some diversity here. Okay. Um, I had Watford second. I had Coventry first. Now, you had Luton first. Yeah. I had Coventry first. Yeah. Do you know which two teams contested the championship playoff final at Wembley at the end of May? I can only guess those <laughs> two that you just said. <laughs> it's Luton and Coventry. So basically, you need to keep watching to this video because, to the end of this video, excuse me, because if we pick your team at number one. Yeah. And the same thing happens as it did last year. They may well be in the playoff final. And if you believe that, you will believe anything. We want you to get involved in the comments. Hopefully, if we get some good commenters, Shaley, they'll pick their kit crime, their super sponsor, their manufacturing marble, oh. their statement shirt, and their top yeah. three. Some Can long I, comments. Some long comments. Can I warn you in advance? Most people won't do that. Okay, they will just times. they will just tell you <laughs> that, that, that you're wrong about the shirt of the I club. I am wrong, probably. The shirt of the club that they support. So do get involved. Let us know, um, well, any comments are a good comment, isn't it? But particularly let us know what you think of shirts that don't belong to the club you support. Are you ready, Shaylee? I'm so ready. Let's go. Here we go then. Shirt number one. They were in your top three last year, Shaylee. Okay, let's Is go. West Brom fit for a kin, which is a tribute to one of their former players who is now no longer with us, Jeff Astle. Right. And uh, West Brom, I know you're a fan of the the boiler, the ideal heating mascot. <laughs> I'm not a fan that they clearly haven't ironed the shirt that Jed Wallace is wearing in the picture. No, I, they haven't, have they? They're taking that straight out the bag. Straight out the bag. <laughs> I quite like it. Puma could do with a bit more dark blue for me. Gone for the gone for the white collar. I'm I'm definitely yes, a that's true. I a maybe. The, what what say you? I think if the collar had been blue, I agree that would have been. I'll just set it off. But I like I like that blue anyway. It's lovely, isn't it? And always nice for a tribute to um, a great former player. Let's move on Ooh. to Norwich. Actually, you've softened on yellow shirts since you've sent <laughs> our daughter to soccer yeah, oh, tops. That does were... look a bit like her soccer top outfit. It does. Except um, he does not look as cute. Now, that's Ashley Barnes, and he is very much not cute, and he wouldn't – he's a striker who just – bashes everybody about. Okay. Um, I try and be sympathetic to Norwich. One, because I'm an Ipswich supporter and two, because I think yellow and blue, like the Brazil, is much easier to do. But yeah. I don't like this, Shaley. I don't like no. the, um, I don't like, Lotus is a great sponsor, by the way. The the colours are quite iconic for Norwich, but that that that's a miss for me from Joma and Norwich. The stripes just aren't the right thickness and distance apart, are they, for it to work? I don't think I so. I don't think no. Oh, that's sad. That Sorry. is sad. We, we try and be balanced about uh, uh, my, my rivals. You don't care anyway, do you? But um, Right. Ooh, now, okay. <laughs> if Blackburn were your kit crime last year, I don't want it to be two years running. They have gone for a light blue left sleeve and a light blue collar yeah. with dark blue details, then the blue and white halves, and then a blue right hand sleeve, which would be good if they get any VAR stuff because you'd be able to... Def definitely differentiate between their sleeves. 
it's too busy, Shaley. They've also there's they've, a lot going on there. There's a lot going on, and there's detail in the in the blue as well. And you weren't a fan of Totally Wicked as a sponsor, right away. But what do you think of Blackburn? What is, has she got something under that? I think she's oh, just okay. got a under a, under. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, the, there's a lot on the neck. Then no, it's not. No. Great. I'm sorry. They're trying trying a bit too hard. To, but can can we can we not make Blackburn kick crime two years running? <laughs> let's, let's see see what else comes up, shall we? we can try. Right. Oh, hello. This is um, Sunderland. Okay. Now, I, okay. Look, you're you're not generally offended by gambling sponsors, are you? I'm not. I'm not too bothered. It is. It is what it is, but I need a Sunderland shirt to be striped all the way round, and there is a lot of what. Um, I knew you were going to ask. This girl is a local singer, right? I to believe. be fair, though, she's wearing a massive shirt that is way too big for her. Okay. So I wonder if it wasn't as baggy, if that white wouldn't seem so much. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because on the men, it's kind of smaller and tighter, isn't it, on the sleeve? I don't know. Sunderland but it's still not enough. Sunderland have mad away support, and I like seeing that red and white end in the stadium. Bit too much white gambling gambling sponsor. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure, Shaley. Okay. Okay. Um, speaking of gambling sponsors and red and white, yeah, I don't mind that. See, that works. Better, Stoke City more stripes. Yeah. Yeah. I think is that our first. It's um... a little bit deck chair. But... <laughs> But I like a deck chair. Deck chair camouflage. <laughs> That's our first. No, it's not our first Macron. The, the, the Blackburn one was a Macron as well. So, so they can do it. I like that. I think we always quite like the Stoke ones. Right. No, don't that's, we? that's fine. To yeah, be right. fair, it's quite quite classic. Quite good that one. Right. I, I'm going to put it out there. I really like that. He's I like, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's playing for Leicester and their favourites to win the title as well. Oh, okay. I like that a lot. I, I I've got a bit of a thing for the Adidas three stripes. Down yeah. there. I like the small detail though. That is that an animal head? It's fox, yeah, they're the, the fox. foxes. Yeah. And like the that the stripes as well. No, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. So it's kind of simple, but effective. And they've tried to do something with the blue. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, Adidas stripes do look nice though, don't they? It's a bit of my favourite ever Richard shirt is a black and white Adidas one yeah. as well. So I'm being a bit biased. But I like that's the thumbs up for me. Ooh. Right. <laughs> I'm going to bury this one, Why? and I've I've been on the Do Not Scratch Your Eyes podcast, and I did I, I did it to their faces. Um, I had Watford number two last year. Right. This looks like it's been run over, and there's gambling sponsors, and there's really <laughs> awful gambling sponsors. There was one before that looked like it had tire marks on it. But Mr Q sounds like a tire company anyway, it's doesn't huge. it? Huge. And for Watford, I need different yellow to black ratio. There's not. I, I'm sorry. Watford fans. So I made what, you number two you last year. I want more yellow, and they normally have some red in there as well. Oh, okay. And it's just very much Mr. Q. I'm sorry, that is Mr. That is Q. Q. Mr. Q. You need to <laughs> quiet it down. So we'll make the apologies to Watford fans. They were number two in my list. I don't hate it as much as you do, but the 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 logo Co -color is a as lot. well. The yellow black yellow color. I, I think they've missed the mark with that. Uh, <laughs> Calme. She doesn't look happy about it either. Right. I'm going to be really positive okay. again um, with an Adidas one. I think I might be heading towards a conclusion for my manufacturer, put it that way. Um, classic Leeds white. I love the blue, yellow, blue stripes. The sponsor's a bit crappy, but there's this thing in football with Real Madrid used to wear the white shirt in the 50s where it's kind of magnificent. So I'm a big fan of that. What, what do you say? It's a bit plain for me. Okay. Um, especially, I think if the shorts had been blue, maybe they'll probably have to wear blue shorts a few think, times. Yeah. yeah, when they clash. I yeah. think there's yeah, there's just too, a little bit too much white, but it's it's not offensive in any way, is it? Look, it's just simple and what's boxed. I don't know. Um, someone tell us in the comments. I I'll, I'll guess it's a betting sponsor, but oh, we'll, okay. we'll, I don't know whether that's true or not. Right now, we normally really like the Hummel ones. Right. We like the tribute shirts, and this is going back to a Southampton eighties. I was going to say. I was just going to say it looks out like out, I I, I think Southampton are going to be really good this year. I love the Southampton crest. Right. It's not working for. No, it's I'm not, not working for me. I'm afraid. I actually don't mind the red side with the darker stripes, but the white they, and red. Stripes. They normally wear just absolute stripes like Southampton right. or um. 
But yeah. they are Southampton. So I, like Stoke the, or Sunderland. It's the yeah. white and red stripes. I'm not. I'm not. And what's this? Is that an actual sponsor on her arm? Or is that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a few now where you get in a sponsor on the yeah. back at the top, on the back at the just bottom. A big white serpent on the sleeve. Yeah. Okay. No, that doesn't work for me. Sorry. Sorry, sorry Southampton. Sorry, Southampton. Ooh! Oh, you like this one? I like this oh, one. Oh, I didn't think you'd like this one. And Why? A, well, central badge from Swansea. And I didn't think, I'm, I'm preempting you, that you'd like the Reviva coffee and orange against the black and white. I'm not that. I'm not a massive fan of that part, but I really like the, the black and white Good. Sleeve, sleeve action. Well, considering how disrespectful you normally are to playing black and white shirts, um, I'm going to disagree, but I'm very pleased that you've got no, one. I like that one. That you're enthusiastic about. Yeah. Central badge, are you a fan of that? Yeah. Moving on. Uh, this is Rotherham, and I should point out the sponsor, look, Rotherham Hospice. That's brilliant, isn't it? For That's them very to, cute. For them sunflower. To pop that. Is sunflower? Flower, I guess so, point, yeah. yeah. So that may well figure in our sponsors. Um, uh, it's a Puma one. Look, someone's left his sleeve curled. <laughs> he's just got, it's Jordan Hugel. He's just got two bigger biceps, I think. Um, I think they've tried to make it classic with the collar and the... I was going to say, if someone said to me, draw a football shirt, that's what I would draw. I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing. I, I think there's some imagery on that. I can't quite, I can't quite I think zoom it's marks in. rather than... Yeah, so yeah. I'm a big fan of the sponsor more than the kit, I would say. I don't know you. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's fine. It looks like a football show. Right. This is Sheffield Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that a Yorkshire team would be sponsored by Eop with a flat cap. So Eop, Eop, Eop. And this is quite a big flex because, as you can see in the background on the banner, they launched their kit while celebrating their promotion from League One, which is... Okay. Um, you'll either find a pretty cool flex or, or a little bit cocky. Um, they've tried to do something with the blue and white stripes. They've got the gold detail. Yeah. Personally, I think Sheffield Wednesday is very classic. They don't really need to do that. But I'm a big fan of the A up. What say you? Um, I love the A up. <laughs> I, the actual, not just the A up. The actual logo is a nice kind of soft logo. It doesn't stand out too much, but you can see it. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the thick blue stripe. I think but, I agree. To be honest, but is it yellow down? I think it's gold, yeah, oh, it yeah, from sorry, the badge, gold. yeah. 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 I don't okay. dislike it, but no. it's not. I, I do like the, the logo. That's cute. Uh, here is one you always love. Uh, this, so this is QPR that you had as your number two last year, still sponsored by Convivia, Aria. They've gone full. They've gone for a red badge. That's normally blue. That's actually... Um, it needed to be red. If it was, that would be too much blue. Yeah, the, I think the the red is probably, a, a QPR fans will tell us, that's that's not normal for QPR. There's a lot of red in there, but I admire them for for the, it's a bit, sort of a bit, it looks like the Netherlands flag on his sleeve, doesn't it? With the, that's a great logo, isn't it? It's a nice, you like the Convivia? Yeah. Cool. Because it looks like it's part of it, and sometimes it, it just looks like the logo's on yeah. the shirt. Um, I will do my normal moan. Impossible to read the numbers on the back of all the hoop shirts, but that's, you know, Sometimes. it's what it is. The shirt predates the numbers and the names and everything. Yeah. Here we go, Shane. You've got to be really nice about Ipswich Town here, although I will say yeah. um, they're up on the roof there. I don't know if Luke Wolfenden's insurance or maybe the roof could have had a clean. It's a lot of white for an Ipswich shirt, oh. but obviously I'm going to defend this is based on the... 99-2000 uh, shirt when it should promote to the Premier okay. League with my all-time favourite player Marcus Stewart playing right. for them it's not the greatest shirt but the sponsor is unbelievable <laughs> isn't it come on it's all about the logo <laughs> like, they've gone we've got this really cool logo so let's just make a completely blank shirt okay I mean, don't you think I do and the Ipswich shirt last year was absolutely brilliant as well and right. this might be a little I bit do better. like a collar though I like a collar yeah yeah okay it's, it's simple but yeah obviously the logo is cool Okay, Ooh. right. I really like this. So this is Plymouth, this is who you won't have covered before because they yeah. got promoted last year. Green and gold. I'd imagine Bond nice Timber green, is it's lovely, isn't yeah. it? And nice shine. I like the. I really like that actually. What do you yeah, think? I really like that. Nice. Bond Timber must be something fairly local. That's a the gold. Actually, looks gold. Puma one it does really pops even nice. On the, it? Even on the sleeves. Yeah, I think that doesn't a, look yellow. That's a winner, isn't it? From... Yeah, nice. Right, we had a little bit of fun with this photo shoot. Um, I think that's Marcus Force, oh, who's is he drinking is he... his afternoon tea. That's the Downton Abbey football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's tremendous. 
Um, so a lot of blue for a Middlesbrough. Right. Um, they've tried to fair dues. They've tried to make the sponsor part of the part of the deal. Yeah. There now their team played some beautiful football last year and scored some beautiful a lot of goals actually. But I I, I think there's other Middlesbrough shirts I've preferred other mm. than that. I like the collar. Yeah, it's not I like the blue. It. I like, yeah, I like the socks, actually. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about the socks. <laughs> we very rarely see them, I, I like we? the socks. Um, and I like the strip on the sleeve. The actual main body is just not very exciting, is it? Okay. On we get right. Now, you're normally very disrespectful to Preston. You say Why? it's... You always are. You say it's too plain. And <laughs> so they've put three dots down, down the torso oh, for you there. They've guys. still got par group. Oh, now, yeah. this is the Are only... Are air holes or something? This is Castore or Castor. The great. I like it. Yeah. I like. I like the dark. The way the dark blue yeah. pops. I think Preston's a very classic. I think the oldest club in in England. So I think it's their best one for a while, yeah. Shaley. I don't mind that. I think there's enough on the shirt to make it not look boring. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Good. Thank you for not slagging off Preston for about the fifth year running. Right now, I know you're a nineties girl. We have a Kappa look number. At that. Look at that. We have a Kappa number here. I'm not entirely sure what the little gap of amber is um, going into the oh, sleeve yeah. there. Um, I really, I maybe really it makes like more that. Sense when they're on down, yeah, the front. maybe. And I think sometimes when they have tricky colours, which maybe black and amber is, yeah. they try and even up. But I love the, I love the cap. Barcelona used to have a capper shirt in the nineties that I absolutely, absolutely <laughs> loved. What, what do you think? This reminds me of popper trousers. Popper trousers. Yeah. I think we know who Shady's marvellous manufacturer is going to be. Let's yeah. let's move on from Hull then. You had Hull winning one year as well, the yeah. rah rah tiger. Oh, I did strikes, like that. That was fun. Uh, so this is Umbro oh. Huddersfield. Nice gold detail, yeah. round neck. You see Sheffield when yeah, they're kind of in competition with Sheffield Wednesday, and they've kind of done the blue and white stripes a bit, a bit better. Some detail in the blue. I quite like that. Oh, no, Shady. I like that. I like that. There's a bit of texture on the in the colour and I like the stripes more because there was the one that had the blue stripe with the yellow yeah, down the middle that didn't, about, yeah. yeah that didn't work it looks much better with the stripes down the side okay thumbs up yeah, for like that. Huddersfield here we go Cardiff we're going to visit Malaysia this is our only new balance one um I do like that they have a darker blue than everybody else yeah. but it does feel like sometimes you should just have a dark blue shirt and not try and do anything and is the collar a bit ecclesiastical? It would look, look like a minister would wear that in a church <laughs> or a something, bit. doesn't it? It does a little, yeah. It's all right. It's fine. But yeah, no, the collar does look a bit more like a granddad shirt underneath. A granddad shirt underneath. Okay. Right. So I had Coventry winning last year. Right. There's been a lot of pushback about King of Shaves. At least it's not manscaped. At least we're shaving our face here. Always like the kind of sky blue, electric blue for Coventry. Unfortunately, in my opinion, yeah. that, do you remember Gustavo Hamer leaning with a light tube, modelling it last year? Yeah? yeah. How could I forget? Yeah, doesn't quite... Um, by the way, he became one of the best players in the league because of that photo. I'm I sure just that is really well. So I always like Coventry's shirts, but not a big fan of... Um, King of Shaves. What, what do you think? It's a Hummel. You always like a Hummel as well. Yeah, it's, like, it's all right. I think the problem here for me is that the white stripes aren't white. They've got quite a lot of blue in them. So then the whole thing's a bit murky. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. No, yeah. It loses the sharp, yeah, a bit too much blue on the, I think it's on the bottom of it really. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, to be fair to Coventry, the image we've got isn't somebody wearing it, which always... Makes a difference. There's somebody. Now, Bristol City brought their kit out in like February. You know, we've been waiting for Birmingham. So right. we're going to give Bristol City a gold star. Okay. Now, if that just had well a plain done. white collar. But I would see, I would say they should have spent a bit more time on it. And <laughs> let us it's unnecessary. Um, uh, Hugh Boo, a delivery. They're the only O'Neill's one box? as well. Um, I like the double pinstripe down the shirt, but I just think they should have left the collar and the sleeves alone. Yeah, lovely, too, lovely red. It's too many stripes for me. Too many yeah. stripes. L less stripes than that Southampton one, but yeah. There you go. Uh, here's your lovely husky chocolate. Is it raining in South Bermondsey? Yes. In, in Millwall. Raining chocolate. There? So normally, because when I think of Millwall, I think, right, rugged, 
dark blue tough right um they've have they taken the edge and they've it's gone from hummel who we really like to area as well they've changed manufacturer okay. this year uh, still got your favorite husky chocolate there which no one other than Millwall fans eat apparently but i'm still waiting for someone to send me some in the comments please um send shaley some husky chocolate yeah uh, what, 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 i like that what do you think of the shirt yeah i like that I quite like it, whether it's rain or not. It's not rain, is it? No, but it's that kind of effect, isn't it? I don't mind that. Okay. Last. I think that'll look better on. when You know when it's tight? Yes. I think that will look better on a person. Uh, Last, but by no means least, and they did... Whoa. They did keep us waiting, didn't they? That sponsor, by the way... That is a tally. Is, that is a big <laughs> they're tally. called undefeated, which is very bold if you're, a, if you're a football team as well. It looks like a waveform. It's it? just a tally to me. You know, like when you go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Five. But it's just big. It's too big. Why is it so oh, big? Oh, you don't like that? No. I like the Nike. That's all I see when I look at it. Like, it looks to me like someone's got tape and like taped. So do you think they should have made the waveform thing a bit I'm just thin? I don't know. A bit bigger. Well, it's their logo, isn't it? I just think the whole thing's just... Because now I don't look at that bit in the back. Yeah, I don't see Yeah, there's the some nice stuff going on behind it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a shame. And yes, Birmingham, I know your club's been taken over, but... We had all other 23 shirts ready and waiting and we had to go on holiday and we were worried and we were like, yeah. can we get this out before we go on holiday? So, And actually, I think I said that lots of the Twitter background you were looking images at the, yeah, you were, were, had yeah. a nice, it, was, it wasn't quite like that, kind of stripes that were dotted okay. on a dot. That's what I was expecting the shirt to be like, really. Okay, that is all 24, Shaley. Ooh, Are okay. you ready to give some awards? I have, need to have a little think about this. Um, we're going to have a think. Have a think. And we're going to make our awards. Right then, Shaylee, let's dish out some awards. Now, okay. we'll do our super sponsors first. I cannot believe I don't get to choose Ed Sheeran and the um, Divide Tour or whatever it was. But let's keep this fair. I have gone for Rotherham and the Rotherham Hospice. We see a lot of people just banking as much money as they can. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? That's really lovely. And you have gone for... Hey up! <laughs> hey up! Um, with the flat cap, which we've just looked up, Shaylee. Is yeah, it's not as exciting, is it? Like... <laughs> a North Yorkshire venture funding startups and software developers. You like a software developer? Love it. Good. On we go to our manufacturer. Shaylee, I, I don't think you've understood the brief here, but I don't think you care either. Um, you've picked... The best manufacturer is Kappa. Kappa. Why Why have you done that? Kappa is back. <laughs> why have you done that? Because now I can go and buy some Kappa trousers. Okay. So you could have taken that a bit more seriously. I will raise the standard of discourse here. I've gone for Adidas, which um, yes. has only, I think, got two, but I very much like Leeds and Leicester's um, shirts, both of them. So um, I think Adidas has kept the standard as high as any of the manufacturers. Good choice, good choice. Right, time to choose our statement shirts. Who's really gone for it out of the box? I can't believe you picked this one, Shaley. Why? Watford. It's a statement. And what I statement? Say, I didn't say it was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's there, isn't it? It is, it is definitely there. Now, I've done something very benevolent here because we gave Blackburn kit crime. I think. That is very well meaning the um, blue and blue and different blues and all sorts going on. And they're trying to make a statement there again, like you. It's almost turned into the Sympathy Award statement shirt, hasn't it? So Watford and Blackburn. <laughs> right, here we go. It's the one that people are really watching for. It's the Kick Crime Shaley. And we've got three new teams in the division here. And I'm trying to build, you know, connections with the new fan bases and make them all feel very welcome yes. and with that being said you've picked the Southampton shirt as your kit crime um we should acknowledge it is a tribute to um a great team they had in the 80s but you're not feeling Southampton sorry no. is that all you've got to say I just feel bad why are you whispering I don't know I just feel bad you're whispering because you feel bad well I don't feel bad because I've picked Watford that you picked as your so I think we we <laughs> We went through this. I need a mix of yellow and red and black and Mr. Q. Mr. That's so bad. Mr. Q and tyre tracks. So I hope they do very well. And I hope 
My man Carl still lets me sit next to him. Do you know what? Apart, the act, it might look great on the on, on a pitch. on a muscular twenty five year old. Yeah. On a pitch, yeah. Is that not Lying a muscular? Around. I assume they both play for the teams. No. Sorry, Watford. It's you and Southampton are our kick crimes this season. Okay, here we go then. These are our top three home shirts for the 23-24 championship. Shaylee, yes. you had them at number two last Ooh. year. They are back. Despite the red, you've kept QPR up there as your number three. I like this very much. Okay. <laughs> and... I have gone for as my number three classic. And as soon as you said deck chair, that did it for me. I've gone for Stoke City. Nice. That, okay, it does look. Was it butchers who used to wear aprons with the red and white stripes? <laughs> I don't know. It just feels, has like the feel of, of a nice classic. Shaylee, yes. your number two, hopefully you're going to say a bit more about this one, is the green and gold of Plymouth Argyle. I really like this. I'm impressed the gold looks gold, not yellow. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just really nice, isn't it? The green is beautiful. Is it? They always have that green in there. Yeah, I think I think yeah. they do dark one, but yeah, that's particularly nice, isn't yeah, it? Really nice. Okay, I've gone at number two. I think I probably gave this away. I've gone for Leicester. I like what they've done with the blue. You pointed out the fox detail in the actual um, blue of the shirt. And um, I think their fans are going to like it because I think they're going to win loads of games this year as well. And I'm a sucker for an Adidas. Now, this is a great shout by you for your number one. Yes. Get your best Welsh voice on, Shaylee. You've gone for Swansea. Boom. Yay. Your dad will be so proud. Of oh, would he? Yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll, never, I'll never, ever do that again. What's you thinking with the um, Swans kit there? I just really... I, it's the sleeve I like. I know... I'm not a massive fan of the sponsor logo, but I just think when they're running around, that'll look lovely. Absolutely. And as much as I should probably not be um, on this page at all because you've done it already and because they pipped Ipswich to the League One title last year, I'm also throwing in Plymouth. Plymouth's going to be my number one. I echo everything you said there. It's really smart, really smart. Really smart, just looks really, really great. And I hope they have a lovely, successful year in it. Okay, thank you for joining us for our annual shirt review. You have some jobs to do, Shaylee. Well, not you. I they do. have they have some oh, jobs to yes, do. Yes, you have jobs to in do. In the comments, firstly, do you want us to do the away kits? If oh, we, okay. If we get people they're, they're more fun though, aren't they? To be honest, yeah. they normally are more fun. Yeah. Um so yeah, let us know if you want to do the away kits and Shay, we come back for the away kits. Yeah, sure. We walk from the house to the garage and I'll walk all the way. <laughs> all the way. Five hundred yeah. miles. And five hundred more. Um, and I need you to tell us your kit crime, your best sponsor, your super sponsor, your best kit manufacturer, uh, your statement shirt, although um that's need to get turned on its head, and your top three. And we would love to hear about kits that aren't just the ones of the team you support. Now, Shelley, if you point at my face now, the lovely people can stay with the channel and see our kit review from last year. And in fact, let's make a playlist, all our kit reviews ever. Thank you for watching. Ooh.